What's up, Daily Dose here. Today we're gonna to be discussing what it is like to have adult ADD and ways in which I, for example, cope with it on a day-to-day -day basis and tips that I can give you. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I love you all, let's jump right on into it. So what is adult ADD really like? Honestly, it is a constant battle going on. When you have a task to do, you think of another task, and then another, and then you start task, but can't complete them. Another, another very interesting thing about ADD for me at least was, as I said, once I for whatever reason hit middle school and high school, my ADD actually went down a little bit. Like I actually was doing, I was doing fine in school with adult ADD. Once I got into college though, I really noticed a change. And what I noticed was I was actively trying to get homework done, for example, or trying to complete a task, or I was working as a server for a little bit and a CNA. I noticed I was doing that and I was putting all my mental energy into the jobs that I had that when I was actually trying to do school homework and whatnot, I would start it but never finish. And then a lot of times my grades would suffer uh, as a result of it. Now, let me give some of you some tips and tricks if you're in college and you're suffering from adult ADD or you're noticing your, your, you know, just your cognitive function isn't declining, but just everywhere. You can, you can complete things, but can't finish them. Now, number one, I remember when I was in college, yes, was I drinking and doing other things? Yes, of course, which can't help with ADD in my opinion, because that's just other substances I was putting into my body that my liver was trying to essentially process. It was also, it affects your brain and then the remaining, you know, brain stimuli and even chemicals left of dopamine, serotonin are declined. And then trying to do homework the next day as a result definitely did not make it easier. So all I'm saying with this is if you're drinking in college, try to really bring it down or stop because that is not helping. It might temporarily slow your mind down, but it just leads to you needing to drink more and more and more, honestly. So bring down the alcohol. Number two, number two, go see a psychiatrist. You know, on campuses and even just as an adult, there are resources out there if you're willing to look for them. There are, and there's actually fairly um, cheap ones as well. With you can pay in with you know in pocket or out of pocket a lot of times, but just be active with active with your search. A lot of times people think they can just go into the doctor's office or your physicians and be like, hey, I think I have ADD. Can I get a medication for it? A lot of times doctors that aren't specialists or psychiatrists cannot act actively diagnose you. They have to send you off. They have to essentially you've got to go see a psychiatrist. They say you have ADD and then your physician from there, once you can send that back to your physician, then they can start writing scripts, but they have to have an actual diagnosis. So they can refer you, show you, uh, put you in the right direction of where to go, and then they can actually fill scripts once you have the diagnosis. Or once you see your psychiatrist, they will fill your scripts. So go see, go see, and I'm not saying medication for everyone, but look at your medical services, your mental health services you have. That's another big thing, which helped me. Number three, I know it sounds ironic, but like me, when I had ADD, I was in a routine every day and I would stick to it and I thought it was working, but it wasn't. For example, at first getting up, having that mindset, I'm going to get stuff done and right when I start, can't get it done, go to work, do okay there, and then I, I'm just done, can't do it. This comes down to learning how to, especially as a young adult, trying to, learning to manage your time, meaning if you need to stay in for, if you need to stay in and you don't, and you can't pick up that extra shift, even if you need the money, sometimes you need to just put yourself, put yourself in a situation and thinking, and, and thinking about what are your long-term goals? Is this job your long-term goal? 
because let's say is that job really worth you being you know trying to put everything into it then taking a test the next day and you get a D or F when that is something that ultimately would have led to your success long term so really and I'm saying obviously you have to pay the bills but sometimes I for me at least I felt like I, w- I was a workaholic I was doing a lot more wanting to save but I had to put that on hold once again so learning to budget your time another big one and this one for me was probably the game changer so in all these things I'm mentioning I have done the game changer for me was yes medication did work it did help me I did Adderall Adderall did very help it did help me amphetamine salts it did post drug addiction my, I was my ADD was horrible and I was trying everything and it wouldn't work so I had medication did help once I jumped into it now for me after medication what I would say is recognizing you have adult ADD every morning what I do or most now don't do it near as much but especially at first was waking up understanding the problems that I will face with my ADD learning about ADD and also just being able to talk to somebody about it that help that would help me you know start my day and whatnot I would really I would really try to just even just a lot of times just once again with task for me I would I get a task done but I have a mul- multiple more to do and then that would throw me into a little funk and whatnot but once once again, once once again, when I recognize this, when I recognize this, that was honestly for me one of the turning points of what helped me not have to use medication, not um, not have to be scared of ADD anymore. Which finally, once you've went through these steps that I've been talking about, exercise. And I might and I know you might say, whoa, 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 you say exercise for everything mental health related. Yeah, I do because I know exercise works. And I'm not saying you have to run like how I am every day. That's just something I'm doing. But lifting weights, getting out walking, trying new things when you are exercising. Because just going to a gym every day, a lot of times, nine times out of ten for a lot of people, that's not that's not a, that's not stimulating a lot enough. So meaning, let's say you go on a walk outside, you go on a run outside, then you go to the gym the next day. Switch it up. During the winter, I know it's tough and you have to go to the gym. But outside of that, switch it up. Truthfully, it it does help, but also it really helped for me, and this is to this day, if I have on my mind that I have to work out every day, and sometimes it's in the morning, most of the times right now I do it after 12-hour shifts, but just knowing that that's one thing for me that I need to get done, it really sets my day because I look forward to exercise or if I exercise first in the morning, it, it really helps me eliminate even caffeine consumption. So exercise, once again, helps you release dopamine, helps calm after a workout, your brain and your body is recovering, your brain is relaxing, you, ac- you actually, a lot of times, if you're exercising or running, your sleep can be a lot better, which I've seen that, which sleep is huge, so sleep is another thing with ADD, making sure you're getting enough sleep. And also through exercise, through doing it, I've now also incorporated a lot of healthy eating. Healthy eating. Um, yes, I still eat ice cream here and there. I eat whatever whatever the hell I want to eat. But understanding that nutrition and what you, you are essentially what you eat. Understanding nutrition, rather you're a vegan, rather you're not a vegan, vegetarian, so on and so forth. If you're getting away from processed foods, all in all, mentally, well, physically more so, but mentally as well, you're going to be feeling a lot better. Your stomach, your GI system is your second brain, in essence. It, you've got to have healthy bacteria. You have to, yogurt, for example, and I know there's lactose intolerant people, um, but it it really helps you replace that that natural, you know, it really helps replace your natural good bacteria you need to fight the bad bacteria. You can get it through pills and what so like the you can get probiotics and whatnot, but just understanding your diet, your protein consumptions and your carbohydrates also has really helped um with my ADD and something I would say 
you should try as well, especially if you've, if you've, you know, you've seen a psychiatrist, you've taken medication and medication helps, but you're thinking more long-term being like, I don't want to take this long-term trying new things, trying to stay busy, but recognizing those limitations as well. And lastly, understanding that ADD is not at all, for example, something you cannot, you can't suffer. I mean, you, meaning you can't, it's not something that's going to be something that you're going to suffer over to the point of where you have to take medication. You have to do this. There's a lot of ways to cope with it. And if you're actively seeking and coping ideas for how to treat your ADD, you will find it eventually. Don't let your ADD, don't let ADD take over your life. Just, it's not, it's not worth it. Understand it, understand it, but you have to be proactive. This is your daily dose of mental health, Adam. I love you all. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing some more videos about Adderall, Vivant, even meth, and ADD, and how they all kind of intertwine together. I'm going to do a big summary video at some point as well with everything regarding to stimulants and ADD and just addictions as well. I love you all. Thank you once again for subscribing. I hit 500, which is incredible. I never thought that would happen. Thank, I, I thank all of you out there. You're the ones who make this happen. Peace and love. Love you all.